Weather we saw now we're seeing a clear sky. This is a live look from our storm team tower cam there from the BJCC, and we are seeing sunshine beaming down over the city. It's a little breezy out there though. Look at this winds out of the north northwest at around 10, 15 miles per hour, so it makes those low 40s feel more like the upper 30s. We're looking at those temperatures holding in the upper 30s from Hamilton to Coleman, and as you move south, slightly warmer. Okay, warmer's all relative, right? Warmer maybe at 45 in Clanton, but still unseasonably cool even for this time of year. Right now, those temperatures across the entire deep south pretty cold, whether you're in Shreveport, Louisiana, or Charlotte, North Carolina, looking at 40s there, and that cooler air is reaching. All the way down to the coastline as well. Although I think the temperatures are cold right now, it's only getting colder as the night rolls on. Check out these numbers. Here's your day planner for tonight, or rather your night planner. Temperatures will be at the freezing mark 32 degrees at 8 p.m. by 10 o'clock. We're in the upper 20s, holding in the mid 20s through early tomorrow morning. Now it's going to stay dry. I don't expect any type of precipitation tonight or tomorrow. That rain will arrive later this week and on the weekend. Sunny and bright. Tomorrow, but unfortunately, that won't help the temperatures very much. Staying in the mid 40s from center to Piedmont 46 and Heflin Lineville, there in the upper 40s. As we move into central Alabama, those highs will top out in the low to mid 40s from 44 in Aniana to 45 in Asheville, 47 for your high in Pell City. A little warmer down towards Clinton at 50, but still, again, those temperatures trending slightly below average. 45 is where we'll top out in Hamilton with Fayette at 47, and then we're going to be seeing some changes, although tomorrow the setup keeps us on the dry side of things. Notice that jet stream bringing in that drier air for us tomorrow. But back to our west, a developing system is actually going to contribute to some late week rain and even this weekend. So as I advance time here on your future cast, I went ahead and fast forwarded to Friday evening just because there's not a whole lot going on for us between now and Friday. Clouds will be increasing later on this week, and then we'll notice maybe a few um, areas of rain late Friday into Saturday. But keep your eye focused out west. This is going to be that developing area of low pressure, and as that swings to our north, it's going to uh, again bring this pulse of energy through late Saturday. By Saturday at 5 a.m., most of that storm activity still remains well to our west, but then we're going to see that move into Alabama by late Saturday night and into Sunday. Some of those storms could be a bit strong, so we'll be continuing to track that, but we will notice a warm up. Temperatures back in the 70s as we move into the weekend, but then clearing out next week. Oh, and don't forget, we spring. Forward this weekend, roll this.